All right, what's happening? I'm gonna share a couple of things that we got out of the uh, class yesterday. So we did an event yesterday uh, with the law slash niece um, in, in Denver at the Denver Tech Center. And we just did it following the normal Legion system. So um, it worked pretty well. Uh, the, the thing that we did change is that we did event in the afternoon. So we did an event from, uh, basically the event from, was from two to 4.30. And then we did a happy hour following. So we taught um, cash, taught the Facebook edge rank class, I taught the YouTube quickie and then Kat led a panel of four realtors that we had all the, you know, everybody that was attending the classes, we had them write questions that cash asked the panel. Uh, so it came out really, really well. Um, I'm going to share a couple of things that worked for us that, you know, that we tried for the first time, some things that we figured out that was, you know, kind of new for us and, uh, and things that, that worked really well. So in the past, we've talked about how, you know, you can do some giveaways in the very beginning. I'm going to show you real quick, the giveaway item that we made and it, it came out, it was awesome. So we had these shirts right here made. I speak Colorado real estate. You can see, we put a subliminal marketing for ticket there so that every time somebody wears it and takes a picture, they're automatically recommending ticket. Um, and you know, which makes sense, right? Um, and so that's what we use as giveaways. I ordered these shirts from eBay. It cost about 140 something dollars for 36 shirts. And um, I'll even, I'll even, uh, I'll even go pull up the eBay seller real quick so I can, I'll show you who I use in case anybody wants to order, order their own shirts. So you could just get shirts made on Fiverr. Um, you know, go to Fiverr, get a shirt design made. You could come over here and have this guy order, you know, order your shirt. So here, let me share my screen again. I'll show you. So this is the guy that I'm, that I use for my shirts. Uh, when I'm just trying to do cheap giveaway shirts, Cape fear lover, L U V E R, um, 36 shirts, um, you know, small through, small through extra large 142 bucks. And I think shipping is $18. So, so you're in for 160. So 160 bucks for, um, Hundred bucks for uh, for thirty six shirts. So let's see, one sixty divided by, oops, my cord was on there. One sixty divided by thirty six. So you're in for four dollars and forty four cents per shipped all in plus your design. So let's say if it costs you ten dollars to get a design made, I mean you know you're still in for less than five dollars a shirt all in. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, so what we did was we use giveaway shirts in the very beginning to um, basically tease people with them. So we had about 20 something people in the room and we just gave away two, like three shirts, I think in the very beginning. And then other people were like, oh man, I really wanted one of those. And we're like, oh, cool. You know, maybe there'll be other to get a shirt later. So then we were able to, you know, use the t-shirts at the very end to get video testimonials in exchange for a t-shirt. So that worked really well. Um, that brings me to number two, which is have a cameraman room if you can. Um, the ca a cameraman is going to make sure that you get high quality video and audio that you can do things with later. Um, you know, today making short form content is king. And so, you know, we got over two hours, really almost three hours worth of content that now our social media team can take and chop it up into reels, chop it up into square videos for Facebook and Instagram, um, you know, make five, three to 10 minute videos for YouTube. Um, a lot of things that we can do with that content. If we didn't have a cameraman present, we wouldn't be able to do that. And you can find them pretty cheap. There's, you know, they're going to range anywhere. Like yesterday, I got bids anywhere from 300 to $1,000 from different cameramen. Um, and so, you know, that was the range that I got. And I, made I think it was $350 is what we paid to have this recorded for, you know, basically for three hours of recording. And then we're going to do all the editing. So we've already got a team in place that can do that for us. So uh, if, if I needed him to edit 500 or 600 or 700, depending on everything he had to do for editing, because a lot of times that's where it really eats up the time, you know, um, depending on how well you're editing, but having a cameraman present, at least cap information, capture high quality audio, you know, he put a microphone on us and, and I think it was definitely worth it because now we'll be able to put out stuff from that event for the next three to six months. We'll be able to use that and push out short form content, longer content, you know, things like that. So it'll pay off for a long time for us. All right. Number three is we did a happy hour following. So we never talked about the happy hour before the event. 
we only mentioned it at the event. And in the past, when I've been, how we've given out two tickets, you know, or things like that. And, you know, um, what we did yesterday was we just tried giving out one ticket. So we gave out one ticket to everybody that came to the event. The people that were on the panel, the realtors, I did give them two tickets because we really wanted those bigger agents to show up at the happy hour. Um, and I think three of them came to the happy hour. One of them didn't come to the happy hour from the realtor panel. Um, but it worked out really well. What I learned was if you give out one ticket, it's the same result in the end as giving out two tickets or paying for multiple drinks. You don't need to do that. If you just, the invitation is important. So by giving the invitation, once you get them to show up, most people aren't going to just have one drink and leave. They're going to stay for a little bit longer. So um, that's exactly what happened is people got their first drink, then they opened their own tab and they stuck around for another hour or two. And so it worked out extremely well, right? Um, we got to do, help people professionally, teach them things in YouTube. We got to also break bread by having some appetizer, clinking glasses and having drinks and stuff. We got to do all that together. And so we got you know, kind of both sides of what we're looking for, right? We got the personal connection. We got the business professional. So it w went extremely well. And then last idea, number four is, that the personal invitations is the thing that matters the most. So, you know, the Facebook ads, um, email invites, um, all that type of stuff doesn't matter nearly as much as sending a personal video or making a personal phone call. Um, and then, you know, text, text, personal text reminders. Okay. Those are the things that have the most impact on getting people to show up is the personal invitations. So if you're sending a video, make sure you say their name. If you say somebody's name on a video, it has infinitely more value than if you do not say their name. Because when you say somebody's name, they automatically know they can't deny the video. You took the time to shoot the video just for them. But if you don't say their name, even if you actually made the video just for them, they'll never know that. And they're always gonna wonder how many people did this video get sent to? Was this like a bulk message? And that's why he didn't say the name because 20 people got this video. And I recognize that saying somebody's name and sending individual videos is a way more time consuming than sending a bulk, you know, the same to everybody, having your assistant send out the same video to everybody, but it's also not the same, okay? So personal invitations through phone call, video messages, following up with texts, that's what's gonna get the most people to show up. Um, and the people that are most excited to be there. So that's what we learned yesterday from doing doing a five hour event. Everything else, I mean, it, the event went incredibly well. Um, and I was just thinking this morning about like, what do we do different? What do we try? What what are the lessons here? You know, what what we, next time? What would we do to make it we'll make it better? Um, if I do one thing to make it better, I would get more vendors to promote. We only had an inspector promote, and we only had a title company promote. And I would get more vendors to promote. So I would look for like a state photographer. I would look for maybe um, an insurance agent. You know, I would have, I would, I would add because having just basically a loan officer and then title and insurance, having only three people promote got 18 or 20, I think 21 or 22 people in the end to, to show up. So I think if we would have had another two vendors, maybe we could have really pack the room out, you know, because it was a maximum of 30 people in the room and we really wanted to fill it all the way up. It felt full, but it wasn't all the way, full, you know, like a hundred percent sold out. So, which is what you always, you know, what you're always going for. All right. Those are some lessons we got. If you've tried anything new or anything like that on events that you've been running, I'd love to hear what lessons, what lessons you've got. I mean, in the end, we can all learn from each other and keep making, keep making it better. So get, get out there. If you don't have an event planned right now, get one on the books. Okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 o'clock in the morning, you can do this.